It's like welcome back to the football club after the uh, start you've had to the season because uh, you finished like a train last year. Yeah. I think um, last ten games you played every one of them, and um, it was our best uh, best run of the season. And I, I don't think that's any any coincidence to be honest. No, um, as I said earlier, it's been been tough this year. I missed most pre-season with my injuries, my knee again. But um, yeah, I enjoyed last year. I've gone back to the back, playing the back, and I, and I thrived in it. I loved it. We finished well, and I was gutted not to be involved at the beginning. But as I say, I'm just starting to get my fitness back now. Hopefully, I can get a cement a, cement a place and carry on playing. It. Well, I missed your performance um, a couple of weeks ago, unfortunately. But Sigs had you down as man of the match. Um, so yeah, well, fair play to you. And. Uh, Obviously, I saw you on Saturday, and uh, although we lost, and I could tell afterwards in the dressing room, you know, you weren't quite in tears, but you were absolutely gutted, weren't you? Yeah, I was, to be fair. As, well, as we said a bit ago, was, we started off poorly. I thought, you know, we should have got something out of the game. So they had a great side, I take nothing away from them. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, I was surprised how good they were. They started off on fire, but we went out of the races for the first 20, and uh, we were down before we knew it. But we come out second half, we had a chat half time, we come out second half and I thought we were superb, uh, got the second goal and I thought, to be fair there, we might go on and win it and I think uh, Clint said enough, killed us really, I thought it was a shocking decision and it took all our momentum out of the game, so, I was, yeah, I, was, I mean all the boys are gutted but yeah, I was, I was particularly gutted, I, was, I thought it was there for taking it. I did as well, I mean at 3-2, um, having said that, 2-1, uh, if that penalty had gone our way yeah. and we'd have gone in at half time, you know, 2 apiece or even 2-1 down. Yeah. Uh, it would have been a different game. Definitely. I mean, yeah, a lot of different buts. I thought the referee yeah. of the day was, was pretty poor, to be fair. Yeah. And that's a, you know, that was a big turning point. Police gone through one and one and brought down. I think everyone on the ground thought it was a penalty. Oh, absolutely. Apart from him. And then with that, five minutes later, on a stroke of half time, they're going to get a third. And mm -hmm. go, going through one up, it absolutely killed all the men and men yeah. we had. But having said that, I still thought we'd done enough to get something out of the game. I think, I think the resilience that's in the side and, the, you know, the sort of like dig deep. Yeah. It is there. It, we just need to stop leaking the goals, and it's not just the defence; it's everyone. Yeah, I mean, we said that we are. We've seen so many goals, but I think this last four or five weeks we've just started to turn a corner a little bit. Yeah, and results, so. results have shown that they haven't. So Saturday was disappointing, but the week before we drew one all, we should have won that. I think. Yeah. Anyone could say that. The weather didn't help, but yeah, got a great. I think we've got a good side here. There's a bit of resilience there. We're digging. We've got a great camaraderie together. A great bunch of lads. I think. Uh, I think things are starting to look up. Now. Looking back to our Kent League days and your Kent League days, how would you compare the standard of football in the Ryman to, to Kent League football? I don't think it does compare to you, to be honest. I think, no. there's, I think there's quite a big gulf now between the Ryman and the Kent League. It's, it's a great standard for the Ryman. There's, there's not many poor sides in it. No. Um, as you can see, I mean, down where we're down the bottom, but it's so tight down there. It is. A couple of wins and then all of a sudden we're in the top half of the table and pushing for the playoff side. It's such a strong league and the Kent League from what I've heard this year and last year, it's just not what it was. Yeah. No. There's four or five good sides, but I think uh, this is definitely a league to be in. certainly is, and uh, well, we've got a, a, a tough, another tough game on Saturday, but they're all tough games, aren't they? That's right, yeah. I say it. Every game, week in, week out, is a tough game. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it is, yeah. So it'll be another tough one, but I think we're going to look to bounce back after Saturday's definitely. defeat, and hopefully we can get three points up there. Well, all I can say is that, as, um, you know, as far as the club's concerned, we're, we're delighted to have you at the club. Obviously, that very first day that you joined, um, I made that plane, and uh, delighted to have you fit again, which is just such a bonus. Yeah, well, so to, um, I'm tough to be fit. Fingers crossed, I think we said this last time last year. Yeah, we did, we did. <laughs> Fingers crossed I'll stay injury free now and get a bit of a run in the side, and hopefully we can start winning. Yeah, great. Well, uh, I wish you well on Saturday and uh, may your good run continue. Cheers, Danny. Well done, Sam Denley, I spoke to Sam earlier on uh, this evening and um, it, he was um, talking about how, um, how well he finished the season last season. Injuries have curtailed his appearances this. He's fit again and I know that the uh, week before last you voted him man of the match. I wasn't the game, so, but you said he had an outstanding game. Was I drunk? <laughs> I had a few businesses by then. Right? No, he was, you know, he's like the bionic man, isn't he? Yes. You know, like he's held together with like nuts and bolts and, yeah. you know, he did. He was, uh, I pushed him back to centre half last year. I know he uh, wasn't too happy about it at the beginning because obviously he's always been a, a midfielder, likes to be involved in the game and that. But, you know, obviously with his uh, with his injury, you know, with the, uh, with the knee and the fact that we're playing at an higher level, you know, you need more mobility in that. But one thing is with Sam, he reads the game well. And uh, he's very good in the air and I think, you know, and I always said that, I'd always, when I played against him, I always thought he'd end up playing centre-half. Mm. I thought he'd make a great centre-half and he was outstanding at the end of last year. Unfortunately, you know, his knee flared up and that during the summer, 
he was having his knee injury, we kept waiting to see, get the specialist and all that, you know, we didn't want to make it any worse. And, uh, you know, but he's worked hard on his fitness and, uh, you know, and he's, and, he, and he's come in, you know, through, uh, as, as again, you know, somebody's misfortune is somebody's fortune, if you like, or someone's game, you know, and like, you know, Cam's got, Paul Ainsworth got injured, uh, James Campbell got injured, you know, Rob Thomas had a little dip in form for a couple of games, you know, and, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, he's come in and was excellent against Merchant, mm -hmm. you know, in, in difficult conditions, you know, he, he, he wins his headers, and, and on Saturday, you know, after the first... 15 minutes. I thought he was. Uh, I thought he had a good, solid game again. And one thing is with Sam, he's uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. His whole heart. It gives you 100, 110 percent. I used to love playing against him because because uh, you knew it was going to be a nice battle. And I think, again, I think we've always me and Sam have always had a mutual respect for each other. And uh, you know, and, and, he, and he's a big plus for the club, big positive. You know, and you know now it's up to Cams and Rob Thomas to get the shirts back. You know, yeah. but that's